Hey there, everybody. Lamont here from Chargas. Checking in with the electric vehicle sector. Okay, so Tesla got this bull break out of this channel here, keeping this weekly EQ alive. We are not yet confident that this weekly higher low here at 379.11 has been set because we not yet have a daily trend change however the bulls are starting to make enough space they have made enough space already today due for a daily higher low once ends and who knows maybe they're not done yet let's check out this hourly channel so hold on first let's mark off the daily resistances so right now it's pretty that's not close enough for a double top actually but we are looking up at 430 50 key daily resistance we will be scouting for a weekly lower high as well uh, for under 465.90, anticipating the potential for this weekly EQ to just continue tightening up. And if you can't see it, there you go. There you go. A little tightening range there. Adam and Eve. Anyway, so far, so far, still. Fine, the Bulls are still fine here, showing up to play defense. Checking that hourly channel now. This looks like a potential bull flag. Let's see. Okay, so nice bull flag coming out of validation period, which is the ideal bull flag. Like a lot of base. Either way, we have pullback to set another hourly higher low here at 419.8 because I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, take my. I thought we changed the five minute trend going into the end of the day, but that's just my hyper bull bias, I guess. So, good thing we <laughs> zoomed in and checked it out. But whatever the case may be, it looks like a 15 minute pennant going into the day. Very strong. The market's going to have a day. Tesla is positioned well to see. Or upside and potential break for 30 50. Or to break that then we would just be looking up at 445 23s so let's all right so the hourly would start getting over soul over bot excuse me around 4, 445 23 so not a bad place to oh that's the this looks like we're just going to cool off though up so i don't obviously i don't want to top fish the local high here of 427.77 with all this healthy consolidation here but if we were to get another push up break over these four hour oversold <laughs> excuse me into this 445.23 level then i don't think that's a bad place all these multiple tops got put all right so not a bad place to be looking short <clears throat> something like that maybe i want to give it a little bit of wiggle room right because we're in this weekly tightening range and not uncommon for highest they get taken out by just a tad for the price to and do what you were looking for it to do i just kind of gave up on that sentence <laughs> all right so that target would bring us back right back into this key shelf that we've been watching this magnet level of the 400 level. so not a bad place not a bad place you can probably even again this is going to change but Something like that. All right. Up support. Like jazz. <laughs> X-Men. Oh. Neo, another strong day today for Neo. Neo really channels very, very well. Either it's either like sideways, sideways, straight up sideways rectangle or channeling. It's really beauty. 
beauty trader and today I, I gave no not today, yesterday i believe gave bulls a really nice uh play off of top here leave golden play all right so we're just watching this hourly channel still very very healthy no sign of no sign of a of an hourly trend change to bears yet to mark a temporary top grind and so are in some divergence now setting oh just kidding that's all right so no divergence yet on the hourly time frame all right so we're just watching this channel uh, looking for another hourly higher low so man if we can get the exact same setup that would be amazing that would be, that'd be so great if we could get like a, a a back test of these levels here in five minute oversold conditions let's see the gonna change tomorrow i'm sure like that tomorrow will be that channel were to hold if this channel were to hold yeah i would imagine another medium line not be out of the question again you can you know your dials whatever you want if you want to use this uh, low as a stop that's fine I kind of feel like if it gets 90 ish it's already hard but you know adjust adjust right what do you want to see for your rr how much capital do you want or rather how much trade risk are you acceptable with you know add to taste so to speak right and uh whenever the hourly trend goes bearish we'll just be looking for a daily higher low anything over anything over this low back here at 2546 wow already the club nkla seeing some <laughs> some very minor bounce follow through potentially a daily bear flag at the moment let's check the hourly time frame <laughs> like uh, i remember yeah i was saying I, you know i doubt it even gets up there at, at this point it could now right like the the, the 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 bulls have slowly meandered their way up it's possible but not looking very good let's see bear flag how will Yeah, I mean these higher highs just aren't follow through, so it's laggy. Kind of stair stepping down, right? Up and down. Port level can't get over it. Right, and then oop. so not looking terribly good for labels. Really would still just be looking for that daily lower high because if the if the bulls are able to muster some more bounce, they they will still be getting extended right around here. So I think this play is still <laughs> that's really it. Just looking for that daily lower high as a short for NKLA. Not sure why this action is absurd. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Anyway, uh, no judgment. That's pretty much it. That's all we're watching right now, and it's kind of it has the potential to start wedging. Maybe it has the potential to start looking like a wedge. Hmm. Ideally, we'll get some more hits. I mean, technically, you do have, but you do have activity back here to suggest that this line has some significance. So potentially a wedge shaping up if you can get if the bears will continue to get some breaks with very minimal follow through. There's only two touches on this bottom trend line, so I don't love it right now. But something to be mindful of. And now I'm seeing that you can get into the trend. A bad place to be. Looking. 
short. However, potentially a bottom forming if this wedge can see some break and fall through. So pretty much all we're looking out for on NKLA. WKHS, so not quite getting to where I wanted it to be. And now at this point, I'll just chalk this up to a trade that I miss. Probably. Unless the daily can get oversold again. Oh, not for something bad, I guess. Let's see. We can get extended. Break supports without seeing much fall through. This is... I'd have to see. I'd have to see. Right? We want to see maybe a bear day or two. For, for like these levels to come back and play. For now, the hourly trend is super healthy. Not gonna get that set up. So let's see. The next play would just be for a potential hourly higher low. Ideally, the bulls will start off really strong tomorrow, make some more space over the 17.7 low to have bulls scouting for another hourly higher low. Although at this point, I might just be thinking. But I know where I know where the, like when you when you when you blow out of a base and then come back rather violently, so to speak. It's not uncommon to start basing around here again. So for now, I probably would just care about this top end here. A couple of these tops got put in. Pause there, a little starter there. So, and that, of course, this bottom. Um, so I'll probably just be looking to short that in the short term. <laughs> and I think the four hour would be ended once that up there in regards to the RSI so just very loose this is very loose something like that and I wouldn't be surprised if we went back down to the lower end of the range oh something like that we would be looking for a higher low though but I wouldn't be surprised to test these low I just expect some like ping pong to go to go down now if we if that's the lowest low that we get, wouldn't be surprised by some lower lows. Whatever the idea is, <laughs> we can't be done it. <laughs> this is what this is what we care about. This is what we care about. Where are these yellow lines now? This is what we care about. All right, green bar. What? Oh, any. Okay, so NE had the all-time high resistance in play today. It's another rejection, so now it's a triple top rejection. We are currently, the bulls have made enough space on the daily time frame for a potential higher lows. I don't think the median line is a bad place to look for at least a short-term bounce play. Let's check it out. The hourly time frame. We will have to see. Be pretty sweet drop from here so you know it's I love it ideally what will happen is we'll just get a nice big good start out of the channel tomorrow then have have bulls for an hourly higher low in order to do so though they really need to break at least two of these resistances right make some space for that potential otherwise i just like these continued channel plays for Get hourly oversold again down near the bottom of this channel. Great, I'll take it. Why did I make? I guess I have an hour. Like a madman. I mean, they're they're like hour, they're hourly pivots, you know. So ideally, you'll have this hourly move here, but but depending on the context, depending on if it's. Like if the water falls in, oh no, I remember that. Only got one fill and I was looking for. All right, well, anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if the bears can hold this resistance here of 76.93 and break this low of 75.39, they'll change that trend and have us looking for that potential daily higher low. That wraps it up, I think. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you all soon.